so here we go we're getting ready to slide into a recession we're uh we're seeing inflation at an all-time high we're seeing prices at an all-time high um in everything that you can imagine i mean food gas uh everything is up guys everything is up um now the other part of that you're going to start seeing is you're going to start seeing real estate prices start to fall right as the interest rates go up it's, uh, prices on real estate have to come down. You can't have both. You cannot have an inflated um, interest rate and inflated home prices. It doesn't work that way because most buyers end up being priced out of the market because the payments are too freaking high. You either pay a high interest or you pay a high house price. You can't have both. So it goes back to what I was talking about before, right? There's a lot of these so-called internet gurus and all these financial wizards out there that talk about cash is trash, cash is trash. If you got money um, in savings, you need to get rid of it, put it somewhere, invest it. Guys, you should always have a backup savings account, right? I've got money in the stock market, I've got money in real estate. I'm about to take a hit on my real estate. I've already taken a hit on my uh, stocks, right? But I've mitigated the risk by adjusting my portfolio so that it's not going to be impacted as hard by getting out of some of the stuff that's a little bit more volatile and going into stuff that's a little bit more stable, right? Again, we're talking about blue chip stocks, dividend paying stocks that have a huge track record that are still going to be um, products or services that people are gonna need through the recession. So if this does anything for you, I want you to take it as a wake-up call to start putting money into a savings account, right? You need to have six to 12 months, depending on your lifestyle, depending on your spending habits, six to 12 months worth of income in your savings account. If you lose your job, and they're saying that's coming, right? A lot of tech companies really started doing layoffs and stuff. Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen that's gonna go in this shitter. If you don't have any money to carry you through what's about to hit, you're gonna be in really, really bad shape. So, you gotta eliminate debt, you gotta make smart investments, and for God's sake, put some money into savings. That's my tip. I hope you guys uh, learned a little lesson here. Uh, again, there's a lot of people out there that are getting you to spend your money, spend your money, but I'm gonna tell you, best, uh, the best course of action is always save your money, right? Spend less than you make, save more than you spend. Those are the strategies. All right, have a great one. If you haven't already, guys, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video, like this video, right? Uh, do everything you can to help me grow this channel. I appreciate it. Again, leave comments in the uh, comment section below. I do answer every single one of those comments. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.